Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We are live at Dollywood in the wonderful Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't get over it. It's not my first time here, but how it's situated here, it oh, looks yeah. like it was, you know, man-made, these mountains. It's it so pretty, huge. but man. Hey, where's the Stanny here? He is the senior PR manager here at Dollywood, and we wanted to ask, what is going on over the summer break? And what does everyone have to look forward to? Yeah, so there's really a lot going on between all of our properties here. So at Dollywood, we'll begin our summer celebration on June 16th, so that's next weekend. And during that festival, we've got three great new shows uh, we know fan, uh, folks are going to love. We also have a nightly fireworks show, and our hours are extended. Oh, nice. 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single day through August 5th. So a good time to come down and make more fam uh, family memories during that extended time. Let's talk about those three shows that you mentioned. Yes. This is These are new? They, they are. So uh, we're bringing them in. The first group that will be here is called Drumline Live, and it's based on the Drumline movies that you may have seen. Uh -huh. And they promise it's going to be better than any halftime show you've ever seen. They're going to really do a lot of audience participation and really get everybody involved in the show. And then on July 7th, we'll bring in another group called Illuminate. They were on America's Got Talent. Really cool group. Their, their suits glow in the dark. Oh, turn all the oh wow. Off. And they do these amazing illusions on stage with that. And we have a uh, gentleman who will be here with a group called Paint Jam. And he takes a canvas and spins it around. Yeah. And while he's doing that, he's break dancing, doing all this crazy oh, wow. stuff. He's painting amazing. all at the same time. And then at the end of the show, he'll flip the canvas around, and it's this amazing portrait. You're like, oh, how did I not see that the whole show? And so really cool what he's able to do as well. Well, here's the most important thing. You've got some new stuff going on after yes. dark. Yeah, so like I said, fireworks show going on uh, in the evening. We've got a new show. That How do we know about what time that's on and things like that? So the fireworks are going to be around 9.30 to 9.45 every uh -huh. evening, so kind of caps the evening. Nice. Off. One, one cool thing to do every evening is to ride the rides because they're a completely different experience at night because a lot of times you can't see where you're going. Yeah. So that really adds a, a whole <laughs> new Because your element. eyes are closed, yeah, with. Exactly, true. <laughs> so that adds a whole new element to what's going on there. So a lot of fun and new memories, like I said, that you can make uh, during our summer. Oh, wow. I have to know, with all of your experience here at Dollywood, what is your favorite thing to do over the summer here? Uh, my favorite thing to do, we, we have two young kids at home, so my okay. favorite thing to do is to bring them up and put them on some of the rides. They're really starting to experience Aww. that and enjoy that. Whistle Punch Chaser, we have a three-year-old, she can ride that now. So to see her be able to light up when she's on that coaster is so much fun. But for me personally, I love to ride the coasters at night. Wild Eagle and Lightning Rod at night are just amazing. I could, I you did those last night, right? I did, I did Lightning Rod and yes. the Flying Eagle Four. twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now, sat on a bench. I do <laughs> want, you need to try them. I do want to ask you, there was something that we were told that there's an app. I there didn't is. know about this last year. You're exactly right. This, it was actually new at Christmas. So ah. at Christmas, this is the first year. It's just go to any of the app stores and down, download it. It's the Dollywood app. It gives you ride wait times. You can see show oh schedules, park map. It can tell you, you know, if you want to go here, you can put a pin down and you'll know. So a lot of cool things like that. Is there a fee to getting that app? Free app. And we have free Miss Dolly is so good so, to all of us. Oh, I know. You can come into the park and use our free Wi-Fi to download the free app. That's so helpful for those wait times. Because some of the rides, you want to know how to plan, exactly. where to go, right? But... You can also purchase, because I saw something behind us that you can get time, time saver. saver. Oh, yes. it's just, yeah, we're right I knew here. it was here somewhere. Yeah, so you time saver time pass. Saver what is that? Pass, and it helps you skip the line, so you don't have to wait in line as long. Okay. So that's a really cool thing that we offer. And, you know, we were talking about free things, and it's a hot day, and that reminded me. During mm -hmm. summer, any of our uh, food locations that have a fountain will give you a free cup of water. So a lot of places, Aww. you know, you're, you're out here and you're yeah. hot, you can go and get that and yeah. cool you down. I wanted to ask you, since you're a parent of, you know, small kids, right. and now that they're out for summer break, there, there's really something over the summer here for all ages that we've been seeing, right? You're yeah. certainly right. A lot of smaller rides here. We also, with Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, okay, we have um, a theater that does three different children's books that are part of the Imagination Library. They act them out, uh, so it's mm. part of our entertainment team. So that is cool. Our youngest loves to go to that. The Little Engine is always one of those. It's called the Little Engine Playhouse. Oh, that's nice. That's Dolly's favorite book. So we go up, that's one of the, the shows, and there are two other children's books in the library that we have for that. So entertainment for the kids, great rides for the kids. Splash Country has a lot of great stuff as well for the kids. So, so much between all the properties for young ones. I, 
I love all that because there was something we said at dinner last night that there was, it looked like grandparents were taking their grandkids yeah. it, it's here. This is a multi-generational park. Love I that. came with my grandparents, we bring our kids with my parents and my in-laws. So, you know, it is a fun experience and there really is something for everyone. Were, were you born around here, Wes? I'm from the Tri-Cities, so I'm from okay. Gate City, Virginia. So grew up coming here. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that history it of is. going back to the family yeah. park. I literally have a picture on my desk standing in this spot when I was three with my grandparents. Uh, and a lot of people from Kentucky doing that as yeah, well. Exactly. You have a lot of visitors from our area. Because it's a quick drive over. Yeah. So, you know, it certainly is a great time to come over this summer. Um, I'm minutes. sorry. It was three hours and 15 minutes from the station. Oh, it's so fast. Yesterday. Yeah. It was like this one. This one didn't fall asleep. She was chatting the whole way. I'm like, give yeah, me some somebody <laughs> talking to keep you awake. It's I mean, quick, it's a beautiful drive, too. It is a beautiful drive. And like I said, you know, it's, it's easy because of the, the access. I mean, so well, it's easy to get here. We thank you for yes, coming out and giving some more information. <laughs> what we're really excited about, everyone, is so much entertainment mm -hmm. here at Dollywood. But guess what else? We also, you got to stay watching because we are giving away some huge things right here on Midday Kentucky. We are live at Dollywood in Tennessee, Smoky Mountain.